Welcome back to Celeb Buzz. Today we delve into a major scandal shaking South African football. South African Football Association, SAFA President Danny Jordan, is facing criminal charges, including allegations of fraud and theft. Now the civil rights group Norton My Name International is calling for his resignation. Reports indicate that Jordan is set to appear at the Palm Ridge Magistrate Court to address these serious allegations. The case was initiated by former SAFA Vice President William Muka with support from other former executives. Together they allege financial mismanagement and abuse of office by Jordan. Earlier this year, South Africa's elite crime fighting unit, the Hawks, conducted a five-hour raid at SAFA's offices. During the raid, they seized laptops, external drives, USBs, and key documents as part of a broader investigation into alleged fraud and theft amounting to R1, 3 million. Claims suggest that Jordan used SAFA funds for personal benefit, including hiring a communications firm to improve his public image after serious accusations against him. The Hawks may add more charges as they probe an allegedly inflated R70 million payment for the Fun Valley Resort in Johannesburg and investigate the management of the 2010 FIFA World Cup Legacy Trust. This $100 million fund was intended to leave a positive legacy for South Africa, but it's now facing growing scrutiny. As Jordan prepares to appear in court, many are watching to see how these allegations unfold. Not In My Name International, a prominent civil rights group, has demanded that Jordan step aside from his role as Safa president. Their Secretary General, Themba Masongo, urged the Minister of Sports and the South African public to push for accountability and transparency, stating that the current crisis demands action. In response to these allegations, Safa's Safety and Security Protocol Committee recently met to discuss what they see as a coordinated smear campaign against the association. Chairperson Tankizo Modipa suggested that these attacks come from former Safa NEC members aiming to destabilize the organization. Safa officials emphasized that early discussions of an elective Congress are premature, as elections aren't scheduled until 2026, and that internal politics are disrupting South African football during a crucial time. With these serious allegations now in the spotlight, what lies ahead for Danny Jordan and Safa? Civil rights groups and Safa officials are each claiming the moral high ground. As Jordan prepares his defense, South Africans are left questioning the future of football leadership in the country. What are your thoughts on these latest developments? Should Danny Jordan step aside, or is this truly a smear campaign against him? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest from Celeb Buzz. Subscribe to Celeb Buzz for more breaking news and analysis.